So next we're going to take a look at the apply. And this is not technically like an ANSI SQL standard, but it's Microsoft's extension. It was originally intended to be used with table valued functions or functions that return a table as their results. And it allows you to invoke a table valued function for each row returned by a outer table expression of a query. Now, prior to really learning how the apply worked, I'd, I'd found different queries that people had wrote on had wrote on the internet and copied and pasted them and just wondered what is this apply thing and how is it working? Well, we're gonna take a look. It's basically like a correlated subquery in that the values from the outside are applied and they can be passed to the inside of the query. So let's take a look at an example here. Instead of joining from a table to another table, you're joining from a table to a correlated subquery or a table valued function. And it's like an inner join between a table and a function. So let's take a look at how the cross apply looks. First, we're gonna take a look at table one. And we remember in table one, we had a list of people and we had some favorite colors and we had some favorite foods. We'll just ignore the food part now because we're simply looking at the favorite colors. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, select everything from table one, but instead of an inner join or an outer join, we're just gonna say cross apply which is going to act like an inner join, but instead of inner joining to a table, we're inner joining to a correlated subquery. And what makes this a correlated subquery is that it's a query inside of parentheses that's being referenced, but what correlates it is this T1 favorite color value is being passed in from the outside here. So effectively, if you have, let's say 10 rows in table one, this subquery will be called 10 times with the parameter of that favorite color from table one being passed into it each of those 10 times, bringing back a slightly different result set and join those together into a table. And what it looks like is this. Now, this happens to be the same thing that we got when we did an inner join, but, and if we look at it right here, we look at an inner join and yes, we do see the exact same thing, but it's a way of, being able to not just join to a table, but being able to join to a subquery. Now, technically, instead of a table two, you could just say inner join to that subquery and specify the join predicate, and that would work. But where this gets different is when you need to use a function. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a function called get favorite color multi, where it just takes in an ID and it looks up their favorite color and returns that favorite color. And then to test that, we'll say select star from get favorite color multi for two. And it shows that the favorite color of two is green. And if we change that to one, we would see that the favorite color was both red and indigo because of that data inconsistency we're dealing with of two that have an ID of one. So what we do here is that you could, instead of wrapping it like this, with a select, you could instead pass in, just say, select from table one, cross apply this function, table valued function with this parameter. And for every row of table one, it's going to call this function with this parameter and put that all together in a nice single result set. Let's take a look at that. Now, for something simple, like looking up the color between two different tables, that function's there's not a lot of value in adding that, but oftentimes where this is handy is when you have access to a function that someone else has provided you, a table valued function. And with that, uh, you're not, you may not have access to the tables or the data directly like some of the internal uh, SQL functions, uh, but you're able to, to run that and call that function multiple times and put all the results into one result set. So next what I'm gonna do is create a function and as get favorite color. I'll just talk about that for a second. Basically in SQL Server, there's performance differences if you have a single statement table valued function versus a multiple statement table valued function. This one is technically multiple statements because it has this insert and then it has a return. If instead we'd created it simply as uh, it returns a table and it was a single statement, you get different performance based off of, the, of how those, how those are written. And it may not make a big difference with a table the size that we're dealing with here, but when you get to larger tables, that can have a huge performance impact in what you're doing. 
but that was from a little bit more detailed presentation where we went into a lot more performance on this. But you can see that th there can be different amounts of work being done, whether it's a single statement table valued function or a multiple statement table valued function. Okay, so we've looked at the cross apply and here's an example of using cross apply where we're going to select from query stats. And this is one of those uh, DM exec query stats an internal system table that shows you all the different queries are running. But there is this, this function called DM exec query plan that will take a plan handle and turn that into SQL code. And the way we would use that is just change this to select star. When we run it, we get everything from QS as we specified there. But when we scroll over, we also get those that come from the query plan and get the plan handle. And we can see the entire plan details here uh, that were not included in the original part. Uh, Without this cross apply function, what you would have to do is like take the results of that first query, dump it into a table somewhere, and then do a cursor or somewhere, somehow iterate over the loop in order to process all those results and then put it all together as a result, where the cross apply just makes it easier to do it that way. Also, uh, just a reminder you can download the join types poster at stevesedman.com. And this is a poster I created a few years ago that just sort of shows how all the different joins that we're going to be covering through this presentation are done. Uh, it's handy to print out and keep on your cube wall or uh, near your workspace. Hi, this is Steve Stedman, and I just want to let you know the video that you've just finished watching is uh, part of what's offered in my T-SQL join types course. It's available for a low price of $29.99 and with this we're going to cover everything from basic select, inner join, left outer join, right outer join, semi join, anti semi join, left outer join with exclusion, right outer join with exclusion, full outer join, cross join, cross apply, outer apply, and many more. To use this class all you really need is access to a Microsoft SQL Server you can download SQL Server Express, that's plenty for using the class, and SQL Server Management Studio. Here's the curriculum. We've got quite a bit of detail that goes through all the different types of joins, including demo and lecture, sample codes, and then some assignments you can take and run with to, to figure out how to do it for yourself. This is one of the more popular classes that uh, we offer from Stedman Solutions, so I would encourage you to check it out. Uh, to find out more about this class, you can go to stedman.us slash joins. Look forward to seeing you in this class. Have a great day.